checking the bearings for the top and the bottom install the bearings pay attention to place the upper bearing retainer with bearing balls on the top that is contrary to the lower bearing retainer and upper cone as illustrated it's very important to grease the headset <clears throat> I got this special stuff for it by Grease 2000 the top of course and the bottom of the headset cleaning it afterwards is to prevent the both metals from corroding with each other The press for the headset is on the headset as you can see and I also have the little cable guide in there. It's important to have it really fitted nice before you press it. This is all straight in. Here also okay let's start I decided to use a spacer for the headset instead of cutting the fork because once cut it's gone and for the future I can always decide to cut it, maybe put another stem on it, but for the time being this is looking okay for me. Oh, that's the good thing with such a stem, it can always be easily replaced. Time to fit the record shifters. Here is the slot for the Allen key. So you can see there. And um, how to put it on the bar. It's quite easy. You just can put it on like this. And that's it. The record shifters are mounted. The bike looks better as soon as another part is on it. Also the nice cable guides. prevent the cables from scratching against the frame I put the very nice Campagnolo Fulcrum Racing 7 rims on the Continental GP4000 tires are coming next week looking very good just a few things to do putting the cables on for the brakes and the shifting the chain and the bar tape and then it's time to ride this bike finally <laughs> 